Hi, I'm here to help you today with your Introduction to Multiplication and Division Workbook. Today we are going to be working on our Multiples of 4 input page. So if you've already done your Multiples of 2 and Multiples of 3 input page, you have a pretty good idea of what we are going to do today. We're going to start by picking out our pen or pencil. And the first task we have to complete on this input page is completing a number line. Notice there are no number line or numbers on the number line. This is because um, our, it's too big to go counting by ones between 0 and 40. So we are going to put in the numbers that we need to use. We're going to start with 0. So label your first tick mark 0. And now we're going to make a jump to the next tick mark. We're counting by 4. So what do you think our first our jump is going to be by? 4 would be correct. So let's label that with a 4 at the top. If we start at 0 and we jump 4, where are we going to end up? 4, right. So we're going to label our next tick mark 4. Okay, now we're going to continue jumping up by 4s. So we draw a jump to the next tick mark, label it a 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. Do another jump, label it with a 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. Do another jump, label it with 4. 12 plus 4 is 16. Do another jump, label it with 4. 16 plus 4 is 20. Do another jump, label it with 4. 20 plus 4 is 24. Do another jump, label it with 4. 24 plus 4 is 28. Do another jump, label it with 4. 28 plus 4 is 32. Do another jump, label it with 4. 32 plus 4 is 36. Do another jump, label it with 4. 36 plus 4 is 40. If you feel like I went too fast, you can always turn down the speed of the video and watch it in half time. You can pause it as much as you need to, or you can go back and watch it again. If you feel like I'm going too slow, you can always change the speed to double time. I like to vi watch videos like this, like that because it doesn't take as much time. Okay, now I'm ready for skip counting. Guess what? I've already done skip counting once on my number line, so this should be really easy. Start with four, count up four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. And I'm done with my skip counting. All right, now we have our arrays. The first one has four rows, so that's my first number of one. That's my second number. Four times one equals four. Four rows of two. Four times two equals eight. Four rows of three, four times three equals 12. Four rows of four, four times four equals 16. Four rows of five, four times five equals 20. Four rows of six, four times six equals 24. Four rows of seven, four times seven equals 28. Four rows of eight, four times eight equals 32. Four rows of nine, four times nine equals 36. Four rows of 10, four times 10 equals 40. That's it for multiples of four. You're now ready to work on your output page. Have a great day, I'll see you next time.